It's my birthday, the 20th of Feb, and I thought how cool would it be if we could get the story of the 20th token on the Sketchy 8 Book Club collection. But I don't just want any story, I want AI to tell me the story based on the NFT's traits. And that information I can get by using QuickNotes NFT API. Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Daniel, aka Hashlips, and welcome back to my channel. To follow along, make sure you have Node.js installed as well as Visual Studio Code. Then we need to subscribe to QuickNode, so go ahead and you can either sign in or create a new account. Once we are signed in, you'll get to this page and we'll need to go to the endpoints and create a new endpoint. We can select the chain and I'm going to select the Ethereum network. Select the network of your choice, I'm going to select main network and click on continue. Now we can see the products that's available and as we can see the NFT API is included. So I'm going to simply click on continue and then go down and click on discover down here and click on create. This is our endpoints dashboard so stay on it because we're going to need the HTTP provider. Now we can go to help and once we get to help we can go to view our documentation. The documentation shows us how we can use this RPC endpoint and what kind of calls can we make. I will make more videos to illustrate all the other endpoints. For now, we are interested in these ones starting with QN and it stands for Quick Node. This gives us a nice interface to interact with the NFT data. And the particular endpoint that we are looking for is Fetch NFTs by Collection. Let's click on it. The documentation on these endpoints are well written and here we can see the parameters that we can use. We can also see what it returns and we get some examples down here. Seeing that I'm writing a Node.js application, I'm going to look at the Ethers documentation. So this is what we will use. For the other dependency, we're going to make use of OpenAI's API. So go here and then go to the API. Go ahead and log in or sign up. Usually if it's your first time signing up, you'll get like $18 worth of credits. For now, just stay on this page because we're going to need some information later. Let's go set up our Node.js application. Create a folder anywhere on your machine. I'm going to do this on my desktop. I'm going to call this NFT story. In Visual Studio Code, hit open and let's go ahead and find that folder. Now at the top, click on terminal, new terminal and then type in npm init. Hit enter and then a bunch of questions will be asked. I'm just simply going to hit enter for all of them. This should create a new package.json file. In this file, right below the license, I'm going to firstly add a comma, then space and add my dependencies. Make sure it looks exactly like this. We're going to add .env, ethers and openai. Make sure that you save the file and in the terminal write npm install and hit enter. This will now install all the node module dependencies. Next, we need to create a .env file. Now, if you create this file, make sure that you do add it to your git ignore if you're using version control and you're uploading this to the internet. In here is going to be very sensitive data, so please hide it from the world. The two pieces of data that we're going to add is the QuickNote endpoint as well as the OpenAI API key. You can find the QuickNote endpoint here on your dashboard, so just go ahead and copy that and add it to the file. And for the OpenAI, if you go to this page and you click on your details, you can go to view API keys. If you are here, you can create a new key and it will be visible once, so you can create and copy this key and add it to the file as well. After adding the keys, make sure you save the file and then we can go ahead and close it. Let's close the package.json as well and now create an index.js file in the root directory. In this file, I'll start by adding my dependencies right here at the top, .NET, Ethers and our OpenAI. I will then create a constant main variable which is a asynchronous function and I'll call it at the bottom. In the quick note documentation, we can see this is how we can use ethers. Now, here we are omitting the fields, which I don't want, so we'll adapt this. But first, let's go ahead and add our provider. For our provider, we'll be using our EVM variable that we have already created. Next, we can use ethers to make our call. We're going to do it like this. We're going to await for the provider to send this query, the fetch NFT collection, and we're going to pass some details. This collection is actually the Sketchy A Book Club collection's address. And then we're simply going to log out the data that we get from this call. So in the terminal, type in node index.js and hit enter to run this function. And here we get the data back. This was pretty quick. 
Now, if I go ahead and copy all this data and go to JSON formatter, paste it in here and process this, we get a better view of what we got. I notice we have this tokens array filled with objects, which are the tokens. And here we can see the actual token ID, the image URL and some traits. We can actually now use these traits to construct a story. Back in the code, before we use that, I want to add an extra parameter and this is tokens and we get to specify an array and the list of tokens that we want. Seeing that my birthday is the 20th, I just want the 20th token. This represents the token ID by the way. Now let's go ahead and replace our console and add two new constants, an image and a traits. And this I'm extracting from the data and I know it's going to be the first element in the tokens array. In the terminal, let's clear it and press up arrow to run the function again. So I'm going to hit enter and now look at what we get. We get the actual image. So if we go and click and open that, we can see the 20th tokens image. Okay. And also we get the traits in an array over here. So now I can potentially use these traits and feed it into OpenAI for an AI to create a story based on these traits. We will do this because we have OpenAI at the top imported. We will add this function. Here we create a completion function with OpenAI passing in a model, which is DaVinci 003, and then the prompt and the max tokens. You can read up more on this on OpenAI's website and documentation. Just know max tokens will depend how much this is going to cost me to run. For the prompt, I say create a story about a sketchy ape NFT character based on these traits and I pass in the traits object. Now here at the bottom, we simply log out the first choice. Let's go ahead and run it and see if AI can finally create a story based on the 20th tokens IDs traits. Before we run it, we just need to make sure that OpenAI is configured. So at the top, add these two lines. This will configure OpenAI with our API key as well as create an OpenAI object. Great. Now let's clear the terminal and basically hit up arrow and run node index.js. Hit enter. Now we can see the first step. It got the traits and our image. And now it's constructing the story at the back. Let's give it some time to complete and then see the response. And there we go. Here's the results. I'm going to have an AI read this for us. We can always increase the token size if we want a longer story, but let's hear the results and look at the image. Once upon a time, there was a sketchy ape NFT character who roamed the lands. He had a light gray background, giving him a mysterious and whimsical look. To complete his outfit, he wore a sexy sign on his shirt that all the cool apes were wearing. His fur was a vibrant blue, and he had a pair of legendary cat eyes that beamed in the sun. The caricature was a hit with the other apes as he walked the lands, but none of them knew that the sketchy ape had a hidden ability he could see through walls with his x-ray vision. He used this ability to help the other apes identify predators and stay safe. Whenever the apes faced danger, the sketchy ape would come to the rescue, helping them identify threats and keep the group safe. He became known as the hero of the group, always saving the day with his x-ray vision. 